Hello everybody, welcome to the CNA round one group A match between myself and Sergal. So um, I shall put the link in the description. This is like a team tournament with various players of different nations, with uh, different teams, five, five people to a team. Um, PC, who's doing commentary, is on Team England as well. Rick is captain. Uh, Rick Reckless, of course. Sean, Sean, not Sean Man TV, Shawnee <laughs> is on the team. <laughs> Miss Spell Tree is on the team. And somebody else is also there. <laughs> Wolfbark's a reserve, isn't he? Yeah. yeah just go on, there's only five of us, Jimmy. You can get that. Yeah, is that is that everyone? Rick, you, me, Sean, and Tree, with Wolf Bark in reserve. Yeah, that's it. I, I got them all. Brilliant. You did. Two um. counting that wasn't particularly brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right, so something's happening here. This is nice, isn't it? Classic programming from uh, from Cyanide. Anyway, also in the booth is Fimey. Hello. Hello, everybody. Coming here to give the colourful commentator for this absolute big game between England and Spain. Yeah, he's he's actually got a really good bread team here. Look, he's got four guard, uh, three blodge, uh, two with step, one with sure hands, one with leader. It's actually a really good bird team, to be fair. Um, so there you and go. Three wrestle fens for the line of scrimmage. Yeah, yeah, which isn't that relevant, is it? But still, it's uh, it's really cool having all that guard and some blodge. There's the team. Look, Euro '96, glorious. Um, Oh, the best best football time of my life. Wonderful. Um, similar to the Necro that I won Blitzpit with, but uh, I have got four gone the second mighty blow in favour of Guard on the Ghoul because I was able to stack skills uh, on the Ghoul as well. Uh, she's got to show hands in case of Elves because I thought Elves might turn up in this format. Um, yeah, so it's interesting. I am now going to concentrate and not have my headset on. So uh, take it away, boys. Thank you very much. Glorious. Thank you, Jimmy. Thank you, Jimmy. So, we Thank have you. the fantastic one representing Team England against Sergal, representing Team Spain. Uh, a clash of the ages here. Um, remember Cadiz, that's all I'm going to say. I'm on a, what I'm going to say, Spain is famous nowadays for being the place where English people go to die. <laughs> that's true. That is very true. Um, and nowadays, of course, they're not getting access to EU healthcare, so they'll be dying even quicker. You can even process quicker those... and more expensive. Yes. Yeah, you can process those old people through a lot quicker for us. Now, this is going to be a really interesting clash up here. Uh, Necromantic, very, very popular in this format. We've seen a lot of them coming through, um, so that's going to be uh, that's going to be great. And at the same time, the uh, you know the build is really, really strong in this rule set. But perhaps Bretonians, as we were talking about earlier, do have some edges here. A lot of movement control with those uh, those four wrestle pieces. He's added three more wrestle to his uh, to his lineman. He's got Dauntless to perhaps cope with the golems. There's some really, really interesting on-field matchups here. Um, it's going to be fascinating to see how this one works out. The Bretonians, of course, with a huge bench of three. Uh, the Necromantic, just that one spare zombie. I wonder if that's going to be key in terms of numbers. Well, it depends on uh, Regen, if Regen works or is a lie. Absolutely. Uh, we do have an Apothecary for the Bretonians. Uh, three rerolls on each side, so we're not going to be short of those. The Bretonians uh, coming, of course, with a leader. Uh, but it is one of their blodge pieces. Very, very hard to take out. They do have a tackle to deal with the ghouls, maybe, so... Uh, Jimmy's short of tackle, but of course he does have some frenzy, the poor man's tackle. And as I've said before, I tend to prefer the rich man's tackle, that being tackle. Yes, I have to agree that. I don't know why people call frenzy poor man's tackle. Poor man's tackle should be pro. Yeah. It's well, only it's work a... out for the time. Yeah, certainly in the new rule set, pro, very, very effective. Oh, yes, three plus. Really good. I will also be keeping a slight eye on Tree's game. I'm sure lots of the chat are as well. Uh, we have the first two England-Spain games off at exactly the same time. Interestingly, on Thursday night, we will also have games three and four. Uh, my game and Rick Reckless's game, both scheduled for 9pm GMT. On Thursday evening, 
And then the final game of the round, if it's a vital one, will take place on Saturday. It will happen anyway uh, between Shawnee and his uh, Spanish opponent. Very strong team, the Spanish. Right up there with the Russians as, uh, as possibly one of the favourites of the tournament. And having said that, the Russians already in some trouble in their first round tie against South America. But uh, it, it's never over in the first round here. Three qualifying rounds uh, to see who goes through into the knockout stages. I hope he, I, getting ready to go. In tradition with uh, you know most uh, English fans watching an English game, I have been drinking since 6 a.m. Uh, I've already thrown up twice and trashed a cafe, so I'm I'm trying to live up to our reputation. Good, good. The, the, the golden traditions of the country be safe. I hope uh, some of our viewers are also drinking some Stella to give them that extra edge with the wife. Oh, oh, and it's a blitz. Nobody expects the Spanish blitz. Now it's a, it's a nice deep kick, but uh, the way Jimmy set up, there is yeah, absolutely that uh, that zombie. He's just flown his uh, his mouse over. That's the piece you've got to worry if uh, if that can be taken down by Circle. There is a route through. There will be a gaping hole. However, the, the ball is landing right next to the Blodge Ghoul with the short hands. That's okay. Jimmy has kept a wolf back to be responsive. That's quite nice. So there are some assets here he can use. Also, his uh, his Guard Ghoul is protected. So that can perhaps get involved in solving this problem. Um, but, you know, a Blitz is never what you want to see. Here comes the Blitz. It is a pow. The door is open. And Stuart Pierce, just like Anakai. he let us down with penalties, leaves the pitch and does not regen. Regen, of course, a lie very often, except when I face it. Classic Jimmy starts, zero turns with 11 players. Yes, absolutely. If you haven't had a good look in Yak's ass, uh, then the BBE Sport Ass, also informally known as Yaks Ass, uh, is covering the entire of CNA, all the matches and the comms of them is should be available there. Uh, you can watch back the glorious highlights of all of the games. Yes, Dreamland, I think we all are worrying that Jimmy's thinking that you know, both Battle Brothers, and I do hear new content has dropped for uh, Snorri Book Troll. Uh, got to worry about that appeal for Jim. But he's, uh, he's, a, he's a nationalist at heart, Jimmy. He does love England. He will not want to let our, our beloved Queen down. How much Sul uh, Thera will try to push this through because if the scatter goes the wrong way and he has invested too many players, that's going to make things very easy for uh, yeah. Jimmy. Yeah, because I mean, now sometimes... there is a lot of players in the right side. Absolutely. I think we all think of Admiral Akbar at this time. Is this indeed a trap? I like this spacing from Sergal. He's pushed two of his, uh, his pieces through, but only one of his blitzers, or knights as I still think of them, has come directly for the ball. Another one, of course, tapping up that... Uh, a guard blodge ghoul. Oh no, he is pulling the third one a third one round. Well yes. okay, so he is fully pushing forwards on this. So now Jimmy has a very Jimmy nice has... path on the left of the pitch. Yeah, absolutely. The blodge step piece is perhaps the worry here because of course the wolf can't get a reliable second hit on it. But uh, the path of the ball is clear as long as Jimmy doesn't want in nine it and there is some space to find. And some roots through. Uh, yeah, absolutely. I did think that that uh, that blocker might be the uh, the target here, and sure enough, that's where Jimmy throws his blitz. Just a push on the first dice, and a push on the second. He's gonna be tilty about that. No, he's not, because Jimmy is robust and strong. But he's he's not gonna be happy. A little consider of the reroll there. He absolutely couldn't put it in, and doesn't. Early for the reroll, but the question is: Gressel pass or push? 
Oh, no, he takes the wrestle. Okay. Yes. Ah, that was the one in nine that could have been the game. But the ball's in hand. And now there you go. And the ball looks fairly safe where it is now. Lovely solidifying play from Jimmy there. Not prioritizing that wolf hit on the blodge step. That well, was um, a trap. That bullet just stepped it, it trap. absolutely was, wasn't it? Because of the blodge step on that blitzer. Taking it on was um, perhaps not the ideal. I think Jimmy was going to dodge off that one late. And particularly now with that hole in this cage. Absolutely. He's having to reposition the golem and he's going to want to bring that wolf up in, in front of the ghoul, I'd have thought. Or maybe Marvel Chest, I have to tell you that your mix sounds a little uh, okay. weird. Like cracking or something like that. Or maybe just the your voice and the alcohol. It could be. I have, as I said, I've been drinking shoe polish and stellar artois since the early hours <laughs> but i've replugged it now hopefully that will solve it slightly yeah yeah yeah, yeah. it's sort of, sort of yeah. it is it's the next piece of tech i need to get upgrading uh, my new camera has a mic in it i need to tech if te test if that's any good and if not upgrade the headset the detection of the dodge there with the Ooh. oh gates I think we like that four plus. I think it it wasn't doing any good where it was. It's given that ghoul a lovely hit. Uh, and then the pow. I think Jimmy deserves that after the first turn. That's not unfair. That isn't one of the Blodge Knights uh, blitzers. So taking it down, not unexpected, leaving it on the zombie. Very, very classy there. Trying to free that Blodge ghoul with the guard and maybe get it back involved in this uh, this cage area. But Jimmy's stabilized after the blitz. I think he'll be reasonably happy on balance with how that turn turned out. Uh, could certainly have gone a lot, lot worse. Yes, he was uh, got the good scatter, and Serul was uh, too overcommitted. That's usually the blitz uh, course. You get a blitz and things end up getting worse. Yeah, and a lot of different priorities for Sergul here. I mean, personally, I would want that mighty blow tackle back in the game. Um, so I think one of the blood steps would be assisting that so it can get back up and active. Maybe he's trying some ball pushing. If he takes this golem down, we could be in a position to maybe get something in there, but I think Jimmy's done enough to solidify it, at least for this turn. Push. With the game officially underway, I can, of course, take my hip flask out and start throwing down the schnapps that I've sneaked in through security. That's probably the, one of the most British things I've ever, I've ever had. And now Sergul also gets two dice on the golem with Gressel. Mm -hmm. Being able to free, free one of the blockers. Yeah, a lot of pressure into this cage. Of course, no tackle on that ghoul right now. I can see it just running away. Column tanks that hit. Leaving the wolf still free. The blodge wolf still free to do its work. that blocker should go down or just back but can stay there think maybe two squares down to get in the path of the wolf and the yeah i'd oh, be dropping there. on the wolf and the golem yeah well, no, he works. chooses again he doesn't like the idea of that uh, that blood step guard ghoul being mobile so he's tagging it with two pieces um, neither of which has tackle. But a very solid position, very steady attack here 
keeping that pressure on Jimmy. Yep, Jimmy opening the back door here, trying to find somewhere safe. Oh, that it works. Rear. And then he will also get to dice on the other uh, night. Yeah, nice little stun there. Means there is a secure area for the ball to retreat to. Beautiful pow. And controlling that mighty blow tackle piece. Keeping it in places where it can't do the damage it wants on the ghouls. Yeah, I was going to say, I think we see the ghoul dodge out now with the wolf there to cover in case of fail. And absolutely, Jimmy retreats into that nice safe space. I think we'll see the wolf cover the sideline and then probably the dodge on the uh, on the blodge guard ghoul. Yes. I'm not sure. I think he's uh, moving back and Sergul is going to be able to keep applying a lot of pressure. Absolutely. I mean, people underestimate the speed of Bretonians. Um, so I wouldn't be surprised to see Jimmy uh, defend behind that wolf because there is a route around the back. Not necessarily to actually get hits on the ball, but just to put more pressure on the back of this shape. The other option, of course, is he defends the wolf over on the sideline and then looks to maybe push forward. Yeah, he is going for the more defensive shape. Just ensuring that he isn't turned over. Still plenty of time to get the momentum of this drive headed forwards. Right now, it's all about stability. Strong and stable. Only turn to... Well, we do know that Theresa May is one of his role models. Uh, yes, he's a big yes, fan yes. of the, Big fan of the May bot. <laughs> Some people might say she was the singularly worst prime minister this country has ever had, achieving virtually nothing whilst defending policies she absolutely never believed in. Uh, but then, of course, Boris, Boris Johnson says, was next. Hold yeah. my beer. Yeah. Doing a great service for Theresa May by making her look vaguely competent compared to him. Nobody remembers her anymore. Because when it comes to enacting policies you clearly don't believe in, Nobody does it quite like Boris. I know, Rando. I know. But then, if it wasn't him, you know, Dominic Raab, does that inspire you in confidence? She did run through the wheat. God yes. damn it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, things in life you don't think about often enough. Interesting blitz, I will go for the dodge with the tackle piece to blitz the wolf. You have a guard player very close, so you can also attack the zombie. And if you best a reroll, it's a 1 in 9, and if you can take out the wolf, you're really close to the ball. Yeah, instead uh, choosing to blitz the white um, and take down this line of scrimmage. I think Sergal at this point has decided not to put a lot of pressure on the actual ball area, but that it's time to wall up and take the space he has gained. A lot of dice here work on that golem, and indeed, down he goes. Very solid defensive shape from Sergal here. I mean... Next time it's going to be tough because there's a lot of guard uh, there for uh, Jimmy so he can keep track of all those players. Oh. Yeah. Oh, nice little fail on the uh, on the mighty blow tackle dodge. Does throw a reroll at it. Still fails it. Only a stun, but uh, that might give Jimmy some space. I think that a roll was a mistake. You were willing yeah. to invest a roll. Why not invest a roll on the dodge or the blitz? Yeah, I I, I tend to agree. Um, I, I didn't love that blitz shape, but it, it has given him a nice strong defensive line right in front of the ball. However, I would be amazed if we don't see Jimmy sweep over to the left hand side here. Uh, yeah, it's it's whether whether he risks that zombie one in nine uh, because a pow there would be glorious and really open up that left side. There when he uses a wolf on it, he does risk it. He does get the power. And now we can see the wolves maybe starting to try and make some space and dominate this position. Yeah, that's exactly the blitz I expected to see. 
There's some nice chaining here. Oh, but the one in nine. That's. I, don't know. I, I think that this might nice. be a reroll. I think we. No. Jimmy decides he can live with it. Now, the worry about that is putting the wolf down right under where there's some peasants. I would imagine Circle wouldn't mind putting a boot in. Uh, so, yeah, I think one of the peasants would wrestle and maybe Dirty Player would have been another good option. Yeah, I agree with Shawnee. That is a reroll decision, um, particularly with the ball reasonably safe if it suddenly won in 36. I'd have been very tempted, but Jimmy's played beautifully conservative so far, really making sure he's absolutely nailed the solidity of what he's doing. Um, so no shock to see he's doing the same. He has got that guard ghoul involved in the ball area, which is something he's been trying to do. Uh, and the blitz has really prevented him until this point. So I think he's happy with that. He's got the wolves back involved. He's got a nice defensive shape himself. The line of scrimmage is looking much more secure. So finally on turn three, I think we're in the position where the momentum may start to swing back in our direction. Yeah, absolutely, said the coach. I think we've been talking about how that, that mighty blow piece and the way that Jim's dominated it so far is, is partly down to that that over push for the blitz maybe um, but also Jimmy's really prioritised keeping it out of the game and has done a good job with that and Circle is seeing this chance for the space to just disappear and Jimmy to just zoom down this left and has responded by dropping back that's, uh, that's not a great surprise uh, look, just fucking around I mean politically I agree with you but I would have to say there are some good people who happen to be conservatives um, they're misguided and misled, but they do think it is the best way to do exactly the same things that perhaps you and I might agree with. Um, just not this bunch of people we've got in at the moment. They threw most of those Tories out, frankly. <laughs> now, sir, we're in a big pickle here because there's a lot of pieces in the middle and they are very tied down thanks to the job of the two golems there. Yeah, the, the Golems have taken those hits, which is their job. Uh, the Dauntless hasn't been used on them so far. Circle's been careful not to have to rely on it. Um, but what was looking a very good line of scrimmage for him is suddenly looking you know, quite weak with those two Golems and Whites really owning that space. I realised as I said it, he was blitzing a Golem, and I thought, ah, oh, this is where one dies. But it didn't. So hurrah. I'm really not sure about standing that blocker up behind the line of scrimmage, Fermi. Yeah. It, it's going to yeah, give that no, wolf no, some no. lovely I, chains, isn't it? Yes. I was thinking he was wanting to stay uh, where he was or maybe move up, you know, move backwards. Because you have the peasants to take care of the golem, you know, just give uh, the golem a peasant to play with and with yep. Fen and uh, wrestle. They're an absolute nightmare. Yeah. Yeah, I'd, I'd have been not surprised to see it stay down and then try a four plus dodge into a slightly better position as a final action but there is still a lot of several pieces on the way yeah there really is it's um, a very solid line instead of prioritizing fouling that wolf he's put the two uh two peasants over onto the blodge ghoul oh here comes um, the chain and he's gonna move the golem which i like and yeah i think that golem is that uh, golem going up getting a free yeah. hit there yeah, gets the pal. I think moves the golem, so... I always call them golems, but golems, golems. Let's call the whole thing off. Oh, nice. And now He's he gets very 2D. Very nice position. Yeah. 2D into 2D if he wants to blitz with the wolf. Doesn't get lucky on the blodge step piece. Does not find that uh, that 30% for the power. Takes the wolf hit. Finds a pow. Yep. Oh, Clomite. Nothing. Does absolutely nothing. Now, does he take on the blodge step again? Looking for the... Two, three, yeah, looking for the two die to get that 30% power. 
If not, does the white dodge? Does it stay where it is? Yeah, some slight issues here in terms of ball protection. So, absolutely, we come off the peasants and we try and attack that blocker. Some nicely found solidity. A, a really strong defensive shape there from Jim still. A lot to like about this. The quest dodge with the white. I would dodge and invest a reroll. I think I probably would. I mean, I, I don't hate the hit. There's nowhere it can really sidestep to that's a big problem. But he uh, can go, you know, he can it's go also back. not that likely to work. He is taking the hit, doesn't find the pow. I think he's going to go, go back. It's an interesting choice, isn't it? Yeah, he does. I mean, going forwards is extremely aggressive, and what do you achieve? Not much. Well, it is a blood step piece against a no-tackle roster, so, you know, it's possible that it completely messes Jimmy's shape up, but also it's such a key piece, as it's the sure hands, it's the ball carrier for the next half. Exactly. That if you yeah. lost it, you're yeah, very, very challenging. Yeah, fantastically tree, absolutely nailing the defence, exactly what she hoped would happen. Um, you know, getting to defend in that first half has turned Yak over, uh, taken his ball and scored on him. So now she has the ball in the second half. A little light on Elves, two out, but I mean, that's normal for Elves, isn't it? Yeah, very standard. Only two, I'll say. Yeah, exactly. Only two. I think if you'd offered her that at the start, particularly at 1-0 up, she'd have taken it. Yak's team also very light on the field. He is down to eight. Uh, so Tree actually up on numbers, up on score, and leading Team England out like the, uh, well, put your strongest out first. And uh, we've put Tree out first because we thought, well, that's the accident of scheduling. But uh, Tree's a fantastic Wood Elf coach with a fantastic Wood Elf roster, and she's going to lead this team from the front. I'm not going to say much about Jack, except that you can expect anything. Coming with uh, Kislev to this competition is a complete declaration of the mental state of uh, Jack. It's a madman, lovely madman. Uh, Jim, of course, has to hold and give, but do it at the right time. He could be slow or fast, but he does have to get to that line. I mean, they're going to hit him. They're going to hurt him. He will defend and attack. And the only way to beat these Bretonians is to get around the back. Catch him if he can. He's the England man. And what you're looking at here is Jim's master plan. Singing for England, England, we're singing Seconds. a song. Turn five now. This is the sort of time Jim's going to start thinking about how he's getting forwards, how he's getting that touchdown done, where he is finding the space. That stun is going to really help out on the left. Um, there is some space up there, but of course, Bretonian's very fast, very responsive. And if Jim leaves his golems behind, he's going to be worried about it. Not an easy task here. Yeah, half of the team. 
Jimmy mm. shall already tag or going to. Yeah. Jimmy's not going to be happy, of course, with just how much of the time these wolves are spending on the floor. Uh, but then, of course, the Blitz really has arrested that momentum and, and stealing it back has proved quite challenging. And the Bloodstep piece is not finding the powers on them. I think you need Wolf is free. Yeah, exactly. That's freeing the Wolf. That's why you hit it. Not necessarily for the power. Just for the positional advantage of getting that wolf back up on its feet. Can blitz the blocker on the him. Yes. No, that's a. It's one into two. Or and two into one. Yeah, exactly. I. I'm not last sure. action. <laughs> All right, he's going very conservative, not risking there. And we'll just yeah. say, can blitz with the weight. I wouldn't be amazed if we see him free the ghoul on the blitz. Uh, the blitz, uh, the ghoul can oh, free no. himself he, on a 109. Yeah, he's going to dodge off. Just not had the pals on these blockers. But of course, your plan cannot rely on pals. Jimmy does now again seem to have a nice stable shape and some space. Let's see how Circle responds to this. He doesn't pull the one in nine. That ghoul did get free. And it's getting back involved. Yeah, new order every time for me. I'd I'd put Vindaloo in third. Because three lions is second to me, but. Love's got the world in motion. Mainly, I have to say, because when he says we all love Vindaloo, I kind of don't. Mm. So, I feel a little excluded. I think we can all agree all three are fantastic songs. And that's before we come to, you know, the true national anthem. Of course, that, that mainstay of British culture, Swing Low, Sweet Chariot. I'm being for to carry me home. Swing Low, Sweet Jimmy Fantastic. Coming for to carry England home. But he has to face her. Oh, that one has been used there. Yeah. Just fucking around, I think again, you may want to adjust your irony meter there. There was a strong ping you maybe missed. <laughs> That's all right. I layered it fairly deeply. No, it's a spiritual song from the times of slavery in South America that for some reason has been adopted by the England rugby team. Um, and no one has ever really adequately explained to me why. Finally, one of the wolves gets a pow. Nothing. Yeah, there just hasn't been the damage here you'd have hoped that wolf would have done. But then, you know, Sergal has a right to say that his mighty blow tackle piece hasn't done a lot either. But that's also because it's been very marginalised. 
Yeah, Jesus of fucking Christ, it would be nice to knock something down fucking ever in this shithole fucking game. Right, sorry, carry on. I was going to say, with the amount of blocks... Yeah, that Jim very much backing up what I was feeling there about his lack of yeah. pals. Um, it's not like Sir Gula have achieved much either. No, except he has still arrested all momentum on this drive. Yes. Um, and, you know, I think if you offered Sir Gul nil nil at the half with no damage, I think he would absolutely snap your hand off. Oh, yes. Yeah, fantastically, Jimmy. He's not taking this. Jimmy says, if I can't find the space by knocking your pieces out, I will find the space just because you haven't dominated it well enough. Lovely, lovely aggressive move up the flank here that Zergel is going to have to respond to. Ooh, but he's got the re-rolls. Two left for two turns. Yeah. Very much the NAF style here. Slow and steady, and then use all you've got in the last couple of turns. And now Sir will have the players tag the Wolf and the Ghoul, but not to do much. Uh, Ardvark on Jerusalem, it's always been um, my favourite hymn, uh, solely because I enjoy the enormous irony of a William Blake tune who was an anti-establishmentarianism. Anti uh, he did not like the established church and thought it was a decadent and ridiculous symbol. And if you actually read the words of it, uh, what that song is actually about is how you know England is not the land of great faith, but how our churches to him look like dark satanic mills. Um, so it is very anti the established church and yet has been taken on as a mainstay by the C of E, which I find hilarious, but I'm a lover of irony. Um, I like to think William Blake would have smiled about that as well. Well, you stay that shtick. Uh, as far as I understand it, Dimmy's farm does uh, does reside in France somewhere. Uh, no doubt within the Grand Massif. And of course, as we all know, France and Spain, pretty much the same. Oh my god. Only the Pyrenees separate them. Catalan indeed does cross the Pyrenees and has regions both within the southwest of France and the north east of Spain. Like England and France that are separated by an ocean. Yeah, we're still getting Calais back one day. Um, but for now, we're letting the French pretend it's theirs. I am joking, Famir. I am aware there are I some know, differences I know. between Spain and France. I know, I know. It's not like English and Wales, which are the same. Yeah. I mean, it's so much more expensive to go on holiday in France. Exactly. Oh, Dodge. Ah. Absolutely, Ardvark. There is England and foreign land. Uh, that's largely how geography works. Oh, not only failing the first game at GFI, but re-rolling it and failing the second. There's the space. There's the fail that Jimmy was looking for. Surely he's just going to pour up this right-hand side like a man that's just finished bowls and suddenly has a ship to sail. Can he... Hit with the wolf or the white. Blitz. The other, the ball, the goal. Yes, here's where a tackle piece would have been very handy, but I think the uh, the hitty wolf will probably hit that uh, that nasty knight, and then we'll see probably a white blitz on the. Uh... Oh, is Jimmy actually ever going to knock anything over? I suspect the answer might be no. Oh no, he is taking the uh, the two into one. And it's a bow. Finally, pal. There is the, the answer, Jimmy. 
Stop doing things right and do things badly. Oh, and me work. and G. Next, miss next game. And it's the apple a, works. It, it's a resurrection format for me. But, but yeah, it does mean it was 50 <laughs> 50 to that apple. Exactly. He throws the apple at it and he <laughs> gets very lucky. Yeah. That was I, I'm a, sure you knew I was explaining to the legions in chat that wouldn't have done. That was the you know, worst child injury there. Jim does still have a reroll for this turn if he wants it. <laughs> he has to. <laughs> well, he doesn't anymore because he's using it on that go for it. Hands off to the Blodge Ghoul, which looks incredibly unsafe until that Wolf Dodge when it now looks glorious. Oh, I'm seeing 1 0 to England. England! Tree's still in, oh no, Tree has lost, the ball is on the ground. The yak attack has pinned her back and have taken her ball. Does it say Ooh, you're going to see anything? For and a war dancer has just been KO'd. So we're looking like maybe two turnovers in that game. Come on, Jim. England Someone expects, do don't let Meghan Markle down. Blood. Yeah, I'm watching uh, on my own stream rather than watching Jimmy on a, um, on a screen share because I want to be able to watch your chat and also watch Tree's game uh, and also look at whichever part of the pitch I want rather than what Jimmy's looking at. I ravel again, maybe not picking up on the irony and sarcasm inherent in almost everything I say, but I forgive you. I have an easy task. Or... I will have a follow with uh, the Blitz have a Tag the ball. Yeah, this doesn't look like it's much of a defence at the moment, but perhaps he's a plan I am not perceiving. Doesn't risk the 55% to put the blood step on the ball, which I thought he might. Sergio realised the 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 the. Puts the other blood step around the front of it. That's his last reroll going in, but it's is he saving it for the one turn? He really shouldn't against two golems, but you know. He doesn't. But he needs to make another one. He does. The problem with this is Jimmy can just come out to the left. Yes. With a 3 plus 2 plus 2 plus, he is there. Um, I, I would be amazed if that isn't just what Jimmy does. Doesn't seem to be a lot of value in trying to hit either of these sidesteppers, so absolutely Circle tries to close that door and uh, has done so a little bit. So some work to do for Jim to find the space here, but... GFIs uh, did the job. Yeah. Preparing for possible dates. Now, this is... 
Ok, fishing for the pau. Gets the pau, so that's it. Ooh, very good. That's a fantastic takedown. Finally gets the pals he's been searching for all half. Exactly. You only, you know, you only need the pals when you need them. That yeah. That's very useless. Yeah. And there you go. One nil for England. Come on, England. One nil to the 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 England. Sorry about that, Fermi. A little bit of jingoism there, just to liven up the day. Right. I promise I would uh, celebrate for Spain just as richly. Don't worry, I know England needs all the support they can get nowadays. This is true. We are a lonely country. Alone facing the world. But that's all right. I hear we've done a fantastic deal uh, with Venatu. All 300 of its inhabitants really looking forward to doing some trading with England. Uh, there is no SPP in this format, Stick. It is a resurrection, despite these somewhat larger than normal teams for resurrection. So, uh, yeah, absolutely, we will be. Um, anything that dies will be back in the uh, in the next half. Yes, the original song is, of course, one nil to the Arsenal, popularised during the George Graham era the glorious, glorious Arsenal, who just in passing are the finest football team the world has ever seen, used to habitually win 1-0. Uh, now it's used to be sung somewhat ironically during the Wenger era when we would win by many, many more than that. Now it is sung somewhat ironically because we're terrible and lose all the time. Right, I'm going to leave Fermier to cover this one turn attempt. Um, Jim's decided without a reroll, doesn't need to risk the golems on the line. He's just put the filth up there. Three zombies to knock about. Separate them, of course, to make uh, pushing them around and one turning even harder. It's possible, but not likely. I'm going to go grab a drink. And there you go. So here we are for the one turn, which has very low chance of happening, but could it still happen? We are riot. Just before I go, by the way, Tree has recovered her ball, uh, is in the stall square, and 2-0 is looking very likely. England rampant. Get the ref. The, the only country that had an empire on which the sun never set, spanning the entire globe. In the peak of the English times, it was always daylight somewhere in the English empire. Now, of course, it's darkness everywhere. Wait, that was also Spain. Okay, Spain was the original one using the line. Cheater. Where to go? I think the one turn is not happening. I don't know, I'm not an expert in Blood Bowl, but I don't see the one turn happening. Gonna Sergul foul, don't foul Sergul, don't foul uh, some random uh, zombie to have a brave. We have a better chance in the second half. I mean, but also, uh, if he can get rid of one of the zombies that he leaves uh, Jimmy with nine and facing an uh, LOS series of hits. But still, I think there will be better chances for it. Well, the coach lineup for England in this competition is a lot of all sad men and a woman. Yes, every nation has uh, five coaches and one reserve. I think there is a command. If I got it right. Yes. There you go, the link with the matches and information.
De Keo comes back. Now Jimmy has to defend. And gets this extremely annoying uh, bread team. Everybody has rest. Oh, quick, someone tell me the, the air dev set up. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I've got no idea. Air dev does a special setup somehow, but I, I don't know what it is. It's a pretty cool setup that makes it hard to hit your flesh guns and stuff. And, like, basically no one can blitz anybody. And I literally don't even know how to do it. Um, You're asking here the wrong person. <laughs> yeah, I yeah, know it's all right. It's all right. I mean, it, I'm not asking you anyway. That would be cheating. I would never, I would never do that. But uh, and I was only joking about the A Dev one. But I should have actually looked at the A Dev setup because it is a pretty good setup. I'm just gonna do the five because I'm, I'm a brainless idiot. There you go. <laughs> Rule five, good old classic. <laughs> I think with downlets anyway, having the the red uh, downlets, they will always find a way to hit the golems. Ten players for uh, Jimmy, and still Serul with the full team in a very boring uh, amount of casualties. One Somi went out, and one uh, Knight got the Apo use. I'm back. Don't pretend you didn't miss me. I know you all did. So I'm Tree ready. has nailed the 2-0. Uh, England one up in the round and one up in the game. Point out here, there is um... some road the uh, hooligan watching this game. You gotta uh, get the ref now. A pitch invasion. This is a truly England game here. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, hold the keep uh, coming onto the field there, taking down a little few of the um, the Spanish team. There is a bribe on both sides. Wonder if that influenced Jimmy keeping those golems off the line of scrimmage. Um, but I mean, I, I quite like golems in the backfield. I know they can still be tagged up, but they they're very responsive there if they're not. Yeah, I mean, you need the golem. Keeping the golems in the LOS keeps them less tagged for the rest of the game. Yeah, absolutely. Yes, yeah, some of the crowd are on the pitch. They think it's all over. It, it genuinely isn't. Garen Ibel is a stand, more or less his natural state. And the whole line of scrimmage is stunned now. Equalizing four and four on the stuns, but of course the uh, Spanish stuns will come back that little yes. bit quicker. But the thing is now, Serul can blitz. Well, he does have two players left. He he can and then yeah leave them all like that. Nah. Yes, he, he can't. So picking up on his non-preferred bloodstep piece, but it goes fine. I saw you, Steve. I saw you take out that peasant. I just wasn't going to mention it. Frankly, taking your top off at the same time and, and waving it around your head like a shirt, sure, a copter wasn't needed. Oh, 
okay finally the the uh the claw mighty wolf does some work only gets a stun but it does mean that uh, you know this lack of response that jimmy's going to have this turn and next a little bit countered though there yeah and the question is how aggressive you want to be the wolf, do the wolf i think i'll move the wolf back need to expose that wolf yeah jimmy is trying to decide here between piling in on this uh, this shaky looking cage and solidifying a line in front of where the Spanish are standing up. And I think that's what he's going for. I revel, of course, very much in the stands holding the coats while everyone did the pitch invasion. Still not fully woken up. to switch to the left side if anyone can interpret Tomito Geppetto's uh, emotes please do inform me of what that means I'm a little confused and only a tiny bit frightened okay so Sergal has done a fantastic job here of getting some stability getting the ball into a nice cage he again has had to give up a little bit of the momentum like we saw in the first half, but he won't be worried about that just yet. The big question is, is he under team orders to try and score early and push for the win? Or is the team going to be happy with a draw out of this matchup? So that in the, the three already got a win. I think Sergul is uh, going to be very pressed to get a win. But according to touchdowns and then Avoiding Jimmy scoring another one. Mm. Mm. I mean, there was some space down the uh, down the flank. He's chosen to swap sides instead. I think that's telling me he's going to be happy just to get the one-one here. I'm sure news has filtered through of Tree's win. I'm sure he knows that Spain are one behind in this round. Nothing against some, you know, some team discussion here as to how the matches are going. No coaching, of course, but you know. Dropping in and saying, by the way, we are one behind in the round, you know, solidify the draw or well, stick the win for is, us is absolutely what is, team play is all about. Yes, it's a very something the Spanish uh, blue ball players are famous for is between, uh, you know, having a lot of talks between each other. Uh, you might say that. I can say that because I'm a Spanish of all this. Promise not to. <laughs> I think it's a mandatory joke to make every single game a Spanish player is involved. You can. I will not. Now here comes. Oh, I think it was going to. You can be my wingman anytime. Bullshit. You can be mine. Yeah, this line of scrimmage looking very, very messy now. None of those zombies free to uh, actually do anything, but I think we're going to see them stand up. Okay, Jimmy's using this because, of course, the sidestep. Oh, no, it wasn't one of the sidesteppers anyway, was it? But three into oh. three still doesn't find the pow. I think we can see some Jim Sads about that. And welcome to the misspelled tree, Massive. Congratulations, tree. We were oh, dropping yes. in and following that a bit. Uh, a very, very nice result. Very impressive win. Leading Tingland, Team England out. Bearing that flag. And, uh, and getting it done. Yeah, another big uh, blitz here. And this time it is the POW. Finally seeing some uh, big golden suns on those dice. That's going to tear Jimmy up. He hasn't seen a lot of those, but still not getting anything out of that claw mighty. That wolf is a lover, not a fighter.
Thank you very much for the raid, Miss Spelltree. Absolutely glorious. Congratulations on the win. Woo! Come on, England! What a mess in the middle. Nobody woos quite like our captain woos. And ask Mrs. Reckless, she'll say the same. Oh, well, you can say that. I want. Uh, it is me and Fermir, Raven. Uh, yes. Yes, yes, it's Fermir here. Providing Fymir. the comment for this game. In a spirit of love and togetherness, Jimmy has invited an Englishman and a Spaniard Spanish. living in England on to Living in Scotland, please. Living in Scotland. That, that counts as England. Don't tell them, but it does. Oh, oi, oi. Well, I suggest you don't travel north of the border, then. <laughs> okay, oh, there. Bloody sick no, it had to, didn't he? Had to. <laughs> oh. oh. Darren Anderson says spending some time on the treatment table as is his way. I think actually the treatment room for the England team is called the Darren Anderton Memorial Room. So we're one down numbers wise, but Jim's in a very solid position. This uh, the momentum of this Bretonian drive really hasn't started yet. Having uh, recovered from that pitch invasion, well, they're still not in a position to drive forwards. Steph, I, yes, I, I, I should apologise, uh, but I'm not going to. Mainly because I'm terrified of the uh, of our Scottish brothers leaving us, and hence 3,000 years of Tory rule. At least. I don't like the Scottish. Uh, the Parliament can do much. I mean, uh, the amount of seats they have are not, is it not that much. Yes, I mean, both Scottish people do you know, make their minds up about whether they want to stay or leave. And it changes fairly frequently. Uh, and to set the record state, I could actually possibly qualify for Scotland. My father lived there for the final 30 years of his life. Uh, I have three step siblings, all of whom are married to Scottish people. And tell you that the Scottish will accept anyone. Yeah, Plus absolutely. I am living proof of Plus it. The, <laughs> Plus, they'd just they'd, they'd have me in a heartbeat. <laughs> Mainly because I think I'm already <laughs> older than the I'm already <laughs> older than the average age of a Scottish man dies at, aren't I? Exactly, exactly. A proper uh, Scottish uh, gentleman dies at 64 uh, year old one week before uh, becoming a pensioner, so he doesn't cost any you know expenses to the government. And has his heart attack, massive heart attack. 30 years from the pub, so the people from the pub don't have to take care of the boat. It is. It's a very giving nation. That's why they eat all the deep-fried fruit. It is to save the NHS money in their exactly. 30 years. Exactly. Hi, Cyanide Studio. Nice to have you here. <laughs> uh, Collie, uh, there are two other games both scheduled, myself and Rick Reckless, are both scheduled to play ours at 9 p.m. Thursday evening. Uh, so tomorrow night. And then the fifth game is Shawnee's, and I believe that is scheduled for Saturday. Well, and last some results from uh, Claw Mighty Blow. Good powder, gain. Tackle piece, getting nullified. Mm. 
And there you go, using the bribe. Yep. But of course, just in case it fails, solidifying the position first, making sure we've got a nice wall in front of where these Bretonians would like to advance. And it's a magnificent gym foul, yep. double ones. Very some, much a gym foul. The, some traditions never die. No, nope. snakes on the armor. Um, so, of course, still needed the bribe, but not even a stun, even with all those assists. Jim, no doubt, very happy with that as a result. Have to love it. D definitely won't be upset. Of course, that guard allows him to attack the wolf without any other piece moving. With his tackle mighty. Let's see if the mighty blow without claw is much more effective than claw. Well, about the same. I'm on this end. Studio, I, I've always wondered, is it just a name change? Because we used to get uh, Cyanide Community Manager, didn't we? Um, I think it's been always Cyanide. Oh, okay. Twitch. That might just be the job title rather than the Twitch name. That makes sense. I just wondered if the community then sort of would upset them too much. With occasional mildly caustic comments. But yeah, I think on behalf of everyone, as has already been said in the chat, um, lots of people have noticed the servers do seem in a much better state. And uh, everyone's been quite happy about that. So, yep. um, hooray. Okay, so it looks like the Bretonians are trying to make a move down their right-hand side, the left as we're looking at it. Coming in force into that area, trying to uh, keep that stunned wolf, the other wolf, and maybe one of the golems out of this play. Find the space that way. Again with the foul. Arson Same as Jim. Powers. What a disgrace. Yeah. What a disgrace from Blood Bowl is this. Doesn't break the armor, but also doesn't cost the, uh, cost the bribe. So 10 10 still on the field. For the Dodge there, I think great right play because having players next to the volume is pointless. The interesting thing about this on field position, of course, is that. Uh, Circle very much committed to this attack down the flank. There isn't going to be an easy way to swap sides back through those two golems. No, uh, that's the thing. Uh, now Circle has put all the all the cards on the table. Mm -hmm. Is this side of the pitch or nothing? Yeah, I think so. Particularly with uh, with only four turns left, I'm not sure there's time to pull back and find a route down the other side. And the golems are free, and the wolf is free. Yeah, and there are nice. many chances that the guard ghoul is going to be free too. So, happy now, this is one of the absolutely. This is one of those moments where you know, lots of people would have said, "Hang on, you're starting with a blockless zombie. That's a one in nine risk." But look at what it's opened up. As Fermir has said, it, it's given both golems freedom yes. to move around. It's uh, it's made that wolf very very mobile. It, it was a risk, of course, it was a risk. But sometimes, one don't in tell 81. this to newer players. Yeah, don't tell this to newer players. But sometimes you have to take those risks. Pau, again, Pau's coming at the right time for Jimmy. Yeah, finally getting the Pau's that the first half didn't give him, and a lovely removal. There's a sexy KO. And that's it. Three of the best uh, pieces from Jimmy, completely free. Yeah, and of course the Apo already used for the Bretonians, so uh, no chance to keep that piece on the field. Oh, this is a big one.
because that's it. To the on the ball. Yeah, finally gets a power on the blodger, and then there's a ball hit. It's a blodge step. He oh, does the rerun. Oh. Gets the big pow. That, that was, yes, that was down, 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 down. Every day of the week. Balls on the floor. You couldn't want more. The scatter was horrific for Jimmy, but it's still a tough position for Sergal. I move the wall first for starting to do in GFIs with the goal line because there is no. Yeah, because probably that golem wants to. Oh, I mean, either jam in just under the other one, but the problem is, do you really want your golems next to each other, or drop back uh, next to the uh, the blood sure hands ghoul? Maybe. Either way, it's at least one go for it, if not two. So I think the wolf, probably you're right, is going to respond first. The question is whether Jimmy thinks there's any value in putting any pressure on this ball. It's right on the sideline. It's an area that Sergal still owns. I think Jimmy's got to let the ball go. That's the just next, concentrate next on the, field position. Next to the short hand, uh, Ghoul on the inside. Next to the side is uh, yeah. probably a nice play to a nice place to stay. Because yeah. there are not many players for Sergal to react. Oh, is Jim going to do anything at all? Or is it? Yeah. Oof. And doesn't move his final golem. But then it's, as I said, it is stopping this, the this field stop where it is. It has got uh, one of the blockers marked by staying there. It's not the worst thing in the world that it stayed where it was. I'd still have liked to have seen it drop back into just in front of where he put that blodge wolf. Um, so maybe it was time, maybe it was a decision. I will put him at the other side. Uh, Jimmy's marking it now. Yeah, that's where I would have put the wolf, and then I would have put the golem in front of where that wolf is. So perhaps a time issue there. Perhaps Jimmy deciding if there was any way to attack this ball around from the back edge of it or something. Big pow on the golem. Yeah, huge pow there. Would have been really nice to get a, a push there. That would have been very, very sexy indeed. But it's still a nice position Jimmy's found himself in. There's still going to be very huge limits on how much Sergal can respond if he when he picks this ball up. If and he picks finally, this ball up. Finally, tackle piece hits a dodge piece and gets a hey. one nine. God well, damn it. I mean, I, I can't pretend I'm entirely independent here. I'm not. And I do feel that's not unreasonable considering the first half hits that Jimmy endured. Makes the pickup. Is he going to push forward? Is it a potato? I think he might have to drop back. No, he is pushing in a little bit. Trying to solidify it just over the line. It's a very risky position to be holding the ball in. I'll have to say that that ball is not safe. I agree. Well, it's a and the step piece. Yeah. So all right. I think the interesting angle he pushed that uh, that zombie at means that yeah we're seeing this dodge here which fails into Whoa. a stun. Now that ball is definitely not safe. Oh, so easy to get to the on the ball now with a chain uh, from the Surhan's uh, goal. Oh, it's no, a, no, it's, 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 it's a blood step. Blood step. Blood step. Oh. Yeah, it's blood, blood step blood. in front of it. But even just a push on it, anywhere it goes to, is going to free the wolf up either to directly hit for one die or to dodge hit for one die. Um, getting two is entirely possible. There is, you know, a tackle on the guard ghoul, so it's a three plus without a reroll to get him off the tackle. Um, wonder what Jimmy's going to go for here. Fascinating to see just how uh, aggressive he chooses to be. Come to the fishing for pause. Oh, yeah, there you go. Yes. Huge decision here, yeah. for Sergal. Yes. Now, I. Hmm. I mean, there was on a three plus, two plus. The guard ghoul could have been stood right in front of this uh, this ball carrier, but of course 
that's a huge surfing risk as well. No, oh, Jimmy settling for solidifying the position. Taking out that mighty blow and making sure he's got pieces back responding. Not attacking the ball this turn. I mean, let's see in the ball with the wolf now. It's a 1D into two red dice. Yes. So, yeah, better uh, maybe leave it for another day. As I said, there was the ghoul around the side option and then that push and then the wolf in, but it would still have been two into one. Uh, it would have been a lot of dice to get there and then it would have exposed a lot of pieces to risk once you had. This is still a nice, solid defensive position with a lot of responsive pieces ready to deal with whatever Circle throws at him next turn. I think this is a great, probably the right choice by Jimmy there to not be aggressive, but to actually say, I've probably done enough, and next turn I might get an even better shot. And now Jimmy's thinking if he should attack the ball or not. Uh, he's already with used the, his blitz. So. With the guard, he attacked the move. Move the... <laughs> Yeah, does he put the guard ghoul in up there? I, I like it where it is. I think he just takes the hit with the golem and calls that end a turn. But we'll see. It's certainly not a bad place to put it in. It really jams all of that up and it still leaves his wolves yes, to respond next turn. To get 2D. Mm. He needs to use the ball carrier. If not, yep. all, all of them are 1Ds. What are the pow? And the golem getting ready to be uh, a scoring threat. <laughs> <laughs> well, and the other golem is in such a nice position, isn't it? Just behind that ball carrier. Really hard for Sergal to get the pieces in to, you know, to help that ball carrier out. I think this is a lovely position Jimmy's found himself in. Hence, we're seeing the one die lovely, blitz. Lovely, lovely, roll there. Yeah, Sergal wow. is feeling the pressure here. Certainly is. Not taking the both down because yet more exposing of his ball. Wanted that guard piece to be up and moving after that. Wanted a three plus really, didn't he? Any kind of push was alright. But of course it does mean that white is now very freeable because the zombie can knock the peasant off. This is Hasn't... House, don't get it. Yeah. This, looks, this is looking bad and bad for the second. It's certainly not looking good, but I mean, those are still blodge step pieces and there's no tackle on Jimmy's team. They're not going to be surfable. Oh, but Jimmy only needs to put enough bodies in front of them so they can pass. And now Serul team is divided by the golem and the two zombies and the white. That's two, five players that are uh, going to be out of the action for the first half, more or less. Yeah, tries the one die to try and free something up to come and help, but the golem tanks it. Mighty Blow Tackle just stands up in place, tries to dodge a blocker, but with the reroll already gone, it fails. It's going to be easy to D on the ball. Yeah, easiest 2D of Jim's life. But as I said, against a blood step piece, that's still no guarantee. Does go for that early zombie push again. Gets it to free up that guard white, as I predicted. That's giving Jim another really responsive, really useful piece that he can bring in where he needs it. Big stand there, making things much easier for uh, Jimmy. And here you go, 2D into 2D, whatever you do. And get the pound. Don't celebrate, my love. If that, if that zombie would have catched the ball, if that zombie would have catched the ball. That would have been joyful and hilarious. That was uh, clearly finally finds Steve, the pound That was to clearly 30%. Steve, Steve Motti throwing the ball back to the English team. <laughs> without that shirt, you know, and the tattoos covering his body. Yeah, that's why it wasn't caught. Cool. If it came off Steve Motti, it would still have had some beer and sick on it. 
Ok, ok, they've all ended. Ok, well, <laughs> that, that's a thing that happened. I think <laughs> Jimmy can't complain about the result of the last turn. And I can say that I think that in the second half, absolutely nothing has gone a uh, circle's way. Yes, I think it's fair to say Circle has had some um, some challenging dice at times in this half. But, you know, if you remember the first half, my friend, yeah, yeah, so yeah. did Jimmy. Yeah, Jimmy did find a, a way through eventually. Circle. Very, he's been very boring dice in general. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Circle didn't. I, I respect how he tried it. I, I don't think he did anything that I would consider to be wrong. I mean, there's always things you can think, well, I would have done this or that, or I certainly wouldn't have done that. But it, it hasn't been a terrible performance. It has been, go. at times, some terrible day. dice. School in the skull. Yeah. I, I, I'm i not sure that 1D was needed, nor what it would have achieved. I, I think Circle might be in a not good place at the moment. Mm, yeah, I don't think. Yeah, I think he's a uh, very disappointed to see the to say it nicely with the nice results. Yeah, as as well, Shawnee says, challenging the spirit of Chunter there. I think maybe the two die uphill was a way to go, but uh, it was a horrible position. I mean, the real answer to that position is not to have been there in the first place, isn't it? And there we go, ball secure in a cage. Zogel has nothing in range. Dead, dead, dead. Dead, dead, dead. Well, there was a Spanish player that will be on the winning team. Shall I, uh, shall I treat you to a little bit of my Mr. Page song? He bangs, he bangs. Oh, Pagey, when he pows, he palms, drives me crazy. And more than just a banger is what he said. As he called out, dead, dead, dead. He bangs, he bangs. Oh, Pagey, yes, he pows, he palms, drives me crazy. And more than just a banger is what he said. As he called out, dead, dead, dead. And this is Jimmy doing the victory lap. It is res format. No, Jimmy will not get to keep the recruited zombie. No. <laughs> get off my foot. The zombie will break. only stay for the celebrations <laughs> of the victory. <laughs> yeah, very much like John Terry. He's just there for the victory. <laughs> or as uh, many uh, Spanish in the UK, yes, to serve the pints to the guy celebrating the victory. Oh, man, that was brilliant. Um, yeah, it was pretty good, wasn't it? Woo! Ah, Jimmy, uh, you had a chance to get the... Oh, stop in the 2-0. I don't think the 2-0 matters, does it? The, the, the goal, no. the stay no, uh, get in the... Awesome game, mate. Smiley face. <laughs> the golem as the scoring threat. <laughs> <laughs> Glorious. Thank you very much, Rick. Oh, yeah, yeah. Maybe I should have, maybe I should have done things. Um, do, is there, uh, are there any tiebreakers for, like, Kaz or anything? I think the tiebreaker becomes the internal score. So if we win five out of five, that's better than winning, you know, three versus two. But right. I don't think it then goes down into casualties or touchdowns. But, okay. you know, I haven't really read the rules. Oh, well, I'll, I'll pass it anyway. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Oli, the exact opposite. The pressure is off me and Rick, isn't it? I mean, if me and Rick both draw, we win the round. So, um, whilst we will obviously go for a 5-0 and yes, try and, and whitewash it, Spain is forced uh, we don't need to. To win the next two games and play the fifth game. So, yeah, yeah. very complicated for Spain. Yeah, yeah Spain, Spain really now needs three, three wins out of three. Yeah. 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 That's, that's really hard, having to beat, like, undead. <laughs> and chuffs. <laughs> like, funny enough, trying to beat Wood Elves isn't, isn't that bad, because it's, it's you know, often they beat you rather than drawing, isn't it? So, like, mm -hmm. you're kind of trying to beat Woodies anyway. Uh, they've already, yeah, they've no. already lost the Woodies anyway, haven't they? Sorry, I forgot about that. I forgot. <laughs> if anyone hasn't watched Miss Tree's game, uh, do um, go over and give that a quick watch on the VOD. Uh, it was, I was keeping up with it as we were commentating. It, it was a, a cracking game. Tree had a fantastic first half. Second half, we had a couple of hairy moments. Yak came for the ball, as we all knew he would. Uh, got it down, very nearly recovered it, but Tree was able to secure it and, uh, and nail that 2-0 victory, leading out Team England 
doing an absolutely stunning job. So, uh, well done, Jimmy. Well done, Tree. 2-0 to England. Cool. Yeah, now you have the easy pass. Oh, yeah, Kasha. Marvel. Just need the rig to win, and that's it. You can sleep at the keyboard. <laughs> yep, absolutely glorious. Glorious stuff. Uh, still, you know, it, you know, really, to be honest, it was, uh, you know, when you when you, you just need to do exclamation birds. Oh, wait a minute. No, you don't. You've got to do exclamation point birds, Jim. And then, and then, you know, I mean, come on. Come on, man. <laughs> Birds, as if as if no tackle was going to matter. <laughs> well, um, <laughs> but I thought no. you coped really really well with the lack of space that you were getting in the first half, Jim. You know, waiting, being patient, stabilizing that drive, not caring about the lack of momentum, then finding it when you needed it. Thought that was really really nice. Uh, Tree, I absolutely North agree from what I saw. Cody Flat Tree was really in control in, in the first half, life. really monstering those uh, that that yak attack. Um, and in pretty solid shape throughout most of the second half, but uh, but Yak was always going to come leaping in and try and take that ball down. It, it did happen, but he never quite nailed it, never quite got possession or ownership of it. Uh, and Tree ran out, a, a deserved winner, I felt. Um, Jimmy too. I mean, you know, the dice were challenging for both Sergal and Jimmy at, at all stages in both drives. Um, but, you know, Jimmy coped, I thought, slightly better with that. Thank yeah, very tight, a very, very tight game. The both teams were... Uh... Really, really strong in uh, fence. Yeah, I mean, there, there was the the blitz was huge, wasn't it? And then the pitch invasion was huge as well. So it kind of like that. Kind of, it did kind of balance out, didn't it? I guess in in terms of the dice, my drive was really hard and his drive was really hard. Yeah, um, I mean, he did he did have more stunned on the pitch invasion, but of course, you know, being the team that goes first, your stunned players come back so much quicker. I know it's only one turn, but it just gives you that that yeah. solid team responding. Uh, which Jim didn't have. Took Jim a long time to get those pieces back active, but he did so really well. You know, managed to hold the bird, the birds up while he did that. Although I thought Sergal, you know, solidified with very few pieces really, really well. Tried to get that momentum forwards. Thought that push down the side was the best he could probably hope for, and he he pushed it as hard as he knew how. Ultimately, you know, Jim had the answers. To to, to do you know what's funny? I thought actually I thought I messed up with the foul because like, I only did because I had the bribe. And I thought that left too much space to the other side, and then he just didn't take it, did he? He just took the opportunity to blitz with Mighty Blow, and I thought he probably yeah. he probably shouldn't have done that. I thought that was a bad blitz that he did. I thought he should have, yeah, he should have I, tried to push that side. When he had I, the I do agree. I thought that was... If there was a mistake, it was then. Um, when the space was there, he should have 100% committed to it, and I didn't feel he fully did. He was still trying to chip pieces whilst using the space. Yeah. And that was a turn, really, to just say, no, I need to get the momentum going here. Yeah, I think I think my foul was bad, and I, I only did it because of the bribe. And of course, the bribe, of course, it was a double one, and the the bribe worked at least. But of, of course, the fail, the foul was an absolute fail. <laughs> I mean, it, it might have been better that it did fail, Jim, because the bribe went, and you stopped thinking about fouling and yes, got back true. up to your positionalness. True, yeah. Um, and it, and it, it enticed the blitz by standing up that guarder to give him the two dice on the on the, on the ghoul. So it all worked out in the end. <laughs> Everything according to plan. Never in doubt. We yeah. did warn you all at the start that Jim does not lose to Burtz. Yep, there you go. No, I, I, that's not <laughs> not a thing. <laughs> to be fair, he, he is good at blood ball, isn't he? And uh, and it was it was a pretty good Burt team, so uh, it wasn't. It was. It yeah, was, I thought it was really nicely built. I, I do think Sergal coached about as well as he could hope for. I absolutely agree with you, Jim. I thought, and I called it at the time, that blitz was was not great, um, and was in the wrong part of the field yeah. at the wrong time to try and achieve the wrong thing, but. You know, like you, he wasn't getting the results of those mighty blow hits that he wanted to. I, I felt there was a little bit of tilt in some of those decisions second half. Um, whereas I thought you stayed remarkably calm for the lack of progress you were making in the first half. Thanks. Yeah. Doing that <laughs> lovely thing I talk about, where yeah, rage, shout, scream, but put your focus on the blood bowl. And I thought you did that beautifully today. Thank you very much. Yeah, that's about, a lot of the time I do like you know go on rants or whatever and that like <laughs> like like I did, but it, you know it doesn't really matter, does it? It's still you still you can still do that and still try your hardest to win. Yeah, I mean it matters if that then impacts on your decisions. It doesn't matter if that gets it out of your system and then your decisions are are still taken with a clear mind and focus on the game. Yeah, um, that that's what I said. Not everyone can not feel things as they play. Yeah. Um, so if you have to feel things, feel them quickly. Yes, that's that's the moral of PC's life. Right. 
<laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you very much for the commentary. Uh, oh, PC absolute pleasure. And find me. Absolutely great having you on. Thank you very much, guys. Uh, thanks for uh, the bits too, Steve and Rick. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic. <laughs>